Hello, hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather Corinne, and today we're going to be crocheting this super cute hot cocoa mug coffee sleeve. I'll post a list of materials and stitches we'll be using in the description box below, as well as a link to my blog post where I've typed this pattern out for you. If you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot, and you won't miss my next project. Let's get started. We'll begin by chaining 35 chain stitches with red yarn. This pattern is designed to fit a standard reusable Starbucks coffee mug, but you can easily adjust your number of chain stitches to fit the mug of your choice. For rows 1 through 13, we're going to single crochet in each stitch across, chain one at the end, and then turn. So that'll be a total of 34 stitches per row, rows 1 through 13. Now that we've completed row 13, we're going to chain one and turn the work around for row 14. Row 14, we're going to single crochet in the back stitch only on this row. So other times it's referred to as the back loop only. So instead of going through both loops, we're only going through the back loop, which will be a total of 34 stitches for row 14. Crocheting in only this back loop leaves a little lip for the top of our coffee mug, which is going to give us space to add the coffee color on the other side. At the end of this row, we're going to chain one and tie off with a long tail to use for our seam in just a bit. And then I pull that loose end through the chain stitch to secure it. Now we'll switch to brown yarn and we're going to turn the work as if um, we normally did, but instead of crocheting in another row, we're going to do the back loop only, which is essentially the front loop of that last row that we just completed. So I'm just going to put a slip knot on my hook and join in with a single crochet in the back loop only of row 14 going in the other direction.
After that last stitch, we're going to chain one and tie off with a medium tail to create our seam and pull through that chain one stitch to secure it. So now we have created our mug that has our hot cocoa on the inside. To create our seam, we're going to turn the wrong side out, so we'll have the brown on the outside to create our seam. We're going to line up the rough edges and use those long tails that we left to stitch up the seam. Now we will flip it right side out and hopefully our seam is rather seamless. I could have done a better job with the brown join, but you get the idea. And now what we'll do is add our handle. For the handle, we're going to chain 16 chain stitches with red. For rows one and two, we're going to single crochet in each stitch across, chain one, and turn between each row for a total of 15 stitches per row one and two. At the end of row two, we're going to chain one and tie off with a long tail, and this will complete our handle. We'll be using that long tail to attach the handle to the coffee mug. I like to attach the handle over the seam to make it less obvious, so I'm just going to take a tapestry needle and stitch down the top and bottom of the handle.
Now to add our safety eyes and pop on those safety backers. I like to snip the excess post off the back of the eyes just so that it'll lay flatter on the mug and we'll turn it right side out with our cute little eyes. Next, we'll need to add a little half circle mouth with some black yarn. The key to stitching on these cute little half circle eyes and mouths is not to pull the yarn too tight so that you can actually shape it into a curve instead of a V shape. And when you tie off on the other side, you want to make sure you're not tying too tight so that it's pulling on the front. Now to add our cute little white snowflakes. I created these snowflakes by making a small stitch up and down and then creating a stitch at the top and the bottom of this that created sort of a little V at the end of each. And then I just repeated the same shape on the horizontal side. And to complete it, I just added one stitch across the center and then another stitch across the other side to create a little X in the middle of our snowflake. I was able to fit three total snowflakes around the edges.
And that is it. Isn't it so adorable? This little mug of hot cocoa to go around your real mug for the holidays. enjoyed creating this super cute hot cocoa mug coffee sleeve with me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.